Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be going through the best photo editing software. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So what exactly is the best photo editing tool? So I've listed out my top three uh, choices for the editing tool. So we're starting off with our first one is photo director. Now this is just a quick little overview on what it looks like. And as you can see, there's a couple of uh, different uh, parts that you could do with it as well, such as dispersion, light rays, glitch effect, and photo animation. So you can get pretty creative using the photo director itself. As you can see, there's ways where you could change the uh, balance. Of course, these are all like presets, manual stuff. Uh, basically, some adjustments that you can use for your uh, images that you upload onto the photo director. Now, I would say that this uh, software itself, it comes with a pretty clean and navigatable interface. It's pretty much got all the aesthetic tools that you would need. And you could pretty much just move easily through the application. As well as that, what's great is that the photo director actually takes care of the organizational aspects of working with photo files. Uh, and it uses this using the power of AI so that you could stay on top with editing. It's also got uh, uh, AI powered facial recognition as well. So Photo Director can categorize your pictures by the people that are in them. So if you guys have used uh, your iPhones as well and you've checked the, the phones, um, you should be able to see that it you know, uh, pretty much creates folders for the people that it's recognized. So that's pretty much the same way for the photo director. Now, um, since we're looking at this part here, as you can see that this is the adjustment sidebar, and it features more, more than a dozen ways to pretty much touch up the pictures. And since it's got very easy to use slid uh, sliders, it's pre pretty much just conveniently displayed right next to your image. And you can see all the adjustments that you do live. So it's full featured uh, selection also gives you tools that you need uh, for color correction, resizing of the imaging, uh, stylizing it. You can also repair images if you want to. And once you're all done, uh, you just hit file and format to whatever you want to format it to, be it PNG, JPEG, or any other form of um, formatting. So as you can see there, uh, of course, we also have like a way to have exposure. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, uh, which we'll cover as well, it's pretty much uh, a way for, uh, it's pretty much just like the photo director, but pretty much simplified, especially it's great for anyone who's um, starting off with creating uh, or photo editing. So I would, Highly, highly recommend to use Photo Director. And uh, if you do check out their YouTube videos, they do show you uh, areas as well uh, for their designs, which I'll actually show you now. So I'll go ahead and show you, as you can see, this is just a quick demonstration on some of the work that they have. So uh, this one here, as you can see that this one is the dispersion effect. So uh, that's some of the different effects that you can go through. I actually showed you guys there in the other photo um, or the uh, slide. So this one's the dispersion, as I've said, and we'll go ahead and take a, uh, another effect. Our next one here is the segmentation uh, effect. So where you can pretty much just select and apply the brush. It, uh, this is the AI sort of programming as well, uh, which helps you cut out the selected area. But yes, that pretty much is the overall for the photo director. Um, again, a very, very advanced, but easy to use uh, software or a photo editing software tool. And uh, if you guys do check it out, you also get like different features as well some of the notable features, uh, which you have enhanced shape editing, CLUT support, 
retouching face, skin and body tools. You also have color effects and sparkle effects. And if that doesn't uh, sort of reel you into buy, um, or buying or getting it, trialing it out, it's actually uh, an award win uh, winner. So it's got a gold standard for photo editing as a software. So hopefully that sort of encourages you to try out the photo director. But anyway, we'll go ahead and move on to our next photo editing tool. So most of you guys probably have started off using Photoshop. Photoshop's pretty much the most popular um, tool to use. It's pretty much in the name when people say Photoshopping, editing. So it's pretty much opposed to editing. Uh, everybody knows about Photoshopping. Uh, what's great about it is that it serves pretty much a great purpose for edit, uh, as an editing tool. Of course, there are plenty of other photo editing tools out there. Uh, I would say that Photoshop is considered as a go-to option for professional designers. Not only is it easy enough to use, you've got all the tools that you need. It's got a very easy and seamless uh, layout for when you need to go, uh, get around areas. It also has a pretty, pretty advanced photo manipulation uh, or for the tools to cover everything that you need. This could be from drawing to typography or 3D modeling. So there's countless of different options pretty much to uh, editing on the Photoshop itself. But of course, I would say that the only issue with Photoshopping is that you can't get into it straight away. I would recommend if you even go through the tutorials or some of the uh, blogs that they've created to help you out because there is quite a bit of learning curve to go through when using the photo editing tool. Now, as well as that, you have to be prepared to invest uh, not just a bit of money, but the significant amount of time into learning how to use this. Uh, I myself, when I uh, started creating and editing uh, pictures and images, it took me probably, if not uh, days, weeks, in order to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Now I used to uh, be creating some uh, photo magazine or some magazines as well, and this would be back in the back when I was in schooling. So uh, I mean, it is a great, great little tool to use. Uh, has pretty much everything that you would need. Uh, but I would say that as well as time or uh, as well as money, a lot of time has to be invested into learning and mastering Photoshop. And in order to achieve that, that's how you would get some of the images that you see in front of you with the uh, one that they're editing there. Now, what's great about uh, using Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop is that you don't actually go have to go ahead and buy it straight away. You can choose to do a free trial. Now there are of course plans for students and teachers. It will be a little bit cheaper, especially if you are using it for say for college or if you're using it for university or any other um, kind of degree, then you can go ahead and see some of the plans for students and teachers. Now it would be, as I said, cheaper. So it'll be at around 16 pound 24 per month instead of the 51 pound and 98 uh, per month. So there is quite a little bit to invest, but I would say that this is one of the greater um, tools to use out there. As you can see that you have it uh, in trial within seven days. And this is pretty much just a little bit of overview onto it. And of course you can watch a couple of YouTube videos, trial it out just to see whether you would like it or not. But I would 100% recommend to use uh, Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and move on to our next photo editing tool. So next uh, popular one is not so surprising. It's Adobe Lightroom. So uh, the Lightroom app is pretty much, uh, well, it's, it's made by Adobe there as I've stated. And I would say that it would be a class or a top choice basically for professional photographers to use. Now 
the Lightroom, uh, the platform does have two applications. Uh, just so you know, it's got Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Now, Lightroom also offers um, an option. So basically, while Lightroom Classic has highly specialized features, so this is like custom ISO based presets, local hue adjustments cover um, to cover some of the latest additions. Of course, uh, with the Lightroom, it is a little bit more advanced. You do get a little bit more to use for it. So still a good two platforms uh, or two applications to use. Now, the main focus for using Lightroom is pretty much for color correction. So if you're wanting to use like uh, layer editing uh, to this would not be the choice for you. You would probably have to go back to Photoshop or Photo Director. Lightroom is pretty much just used to make your photos look a lot better. Just So just say if I attended a car show, of course the lighting is a little bit um, odd sometimes. Of course you have more lighting, some dark spots as well. You may want to go ahead and touch that up using Lightroom. So as you can see in front of us here, this picture um, may have been a little bit darker in terms of the default pre, uh, default set. Of course, if you preset it, uh, adjust the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, shadows, the whites, the blacks, and also uh, if you're adjusting the color, you got temp, you got the tint, the vibrance, the saturation. You can go ahead and try to create something vivid like this. Now, What's worthwhile uh, about this is the fact that it has camera based corrections, it's got gradient and brush adjustments, and also has a streamlined photo management. So that's why I would highly recommend to use Lightroom, especially if you're a photographer. Um, absolutely would recommend it, I've used it myself. Uh, helps a lot when you're trying to get rid of those dark spots. Um, Lightroom just helps you adjust some of those little corrections. But folks, that's pretty much it for what I would love to cover. Of course, there are other tools to use uh, for uh, editing. Um, you have ones that are called PaintShop Pro. And I do know that PaintShop Pro, it's a little bit, um, it doesn't have a modern interface. And if you don't necessarily want to commit and pay the big amount for Photoshop or Lightroom, then I would say that PaintShop is pretty much the void for it. I would go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's pretty much got a very, very old like Windows 95 sort of vibe. Um, it is still a very reliable software to use. And it ranges features like 3D modeling, typography, camera shape reduction. So it has all the tools that you need. And it has quite a lot of features as well, like 360 degree photo editing. So if you've seen one of those, um, you know, like globe looking things, uh, it has that 360 degree photo editing also has various photo um, or design templates as well and i'm sure whatever i've covered uh within this video uh, i'm sure it's not all of the photo editing tools of course by all means go ahead and explore some of the available ones out there but these are pretty much my top three and some of the ones i recommend of course uh, some have a saying where, you know, if you don't pay the expenses, you won't get what you, uh, everything that you need. And I think that Photo Director and Photoshop and Lightroom has all those to offer. But anyway, uh, anyways, as I said, if I have missed anything, please do leave it in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.